Hello everyone, I am Anubhav and welcome to the part 7 of the blog series on OData. In the previous 6 blogs, I discussed about the concepts of OData service, uh, starting with the very basics of how internet works and uh, the HTTP protocol. Um, then we moved on to the RESTful APIs and the 6 constraints. Uh, we discussed the uh, SAP NetWeaver gateway and various deployment options. In the last blog, I briefly discussed the data model. Uh, and the uh, UI mockup uh, uh, based on which we will uh, create our own data service in the system. Let's just briefly look at uh, that data model once more. So it had three database tables, uh, SCARE, SPFLI, and SFlight. SCARE representing the air carrier, uh, which has one-to-end -one relationship with SPFLI, which is uh, the flight connections. So flight carrier will have multiple uh, flight connections. Um, each uh, flight connection will have multiple uh, schedule uh, which is represented by S flight again uh, one to end relationship before moving on to the system uh, to build uh, our first OData service uh, let's just understand the structure of the OData service so the two important uh, components of an OData services are the service document and the service document uh, or the service metadata uh, let's start with an example. Uh, let's assume that we want to expose a service to access uh, products, categories, and suppliers. Uh, and uh, uh, the picture here shows a very simple uh, model explaining the same. Uh, so a product uh, is part of one category, uh, but a category will have multiple products. Similarly, a supplier uh, will be able to supply uh, multiple products. Each OData service uh, is represented by a URI uh, called the service root URI. A URI is a uniform resource indicator, uh, as I mentioned in my first blog, and uh, identifies a resource uniquely. Uh, this type of identification enables interaction with the representations of the resource uh, across the network uh, using uh, a protocol uh, like OData. That is why it is RESTful. So OData service is a logical data model. Uh, it describes entities using associations and operations as we saw, in this case, uh, product categories and supplier. The example that we are going to uh, build on uh, has three entities again. Uh, one is the flight carrier, uh, the connections, and the schedule. So let's look at the uh, service document first. Uh, so let me just open the uh, URI for the uh, service root URI uh, for one of the OData service which is available. Uh, you can see multiple entities uh, represented here. Uh, products, product details, categories, suppliers, person, person details, advertisements. So this becomes uh, uh, part of the OData service. Uh, the second uh, important component is the uh, service uh, metadata. Uh, to access the uh, service metadata, uh, we need to send a HTTP uh, GET request uh, with the service you root URI uh, up and append uh, dollar metadata to get the service uh, uh, metadata. So if you look at this uh, document, uh, let me just collapse uh, everything to start with. So the main important part of uh, this uh, Metadata is the entity container, which uh, describes all the entity set that belongs to the uh, service. And then uh, various other parts as well. We'll discuss um, them more in detail. So uh, entity is, is defined by an entity type, which has a key property and various other properties. And navigations, uh, which, defi which defines the relationship amongst the uh, different entities within the service um, and then there are 
uh, function imports which defines the operations let's now look at the uh, odata meta model to describe each of these uh, concepts in a bit more detail a gateway service is based on an entity data model um, an entity data model describes uh, the organization relationship of the data resources uh, within a business scenario uh, entity type is uh, the basic building block of the uh, EDM or the entity data model uh, and it represents the specific business objects. In this case, uh, the uh, business objects are product, category and supplier. In the example that we are going to build, it will be flight, carrier, connections and schedule. So an entity container uh, that you see here um, uh, contains one or more entity sets. Uh, the service document contains all the entity set. If we look at the uh, meta model, we should be able to see all the entity sets uh, within the uh, entity container. The OData service uh, document lists exactly all the entity sets of an OData service. So let me just go back to the root URI. So it lists all the uh, entities uh, which are uh, part of the OData service. Entities are uh, defined by the entity types and a set of or collection of entities are, are uh, defined by the entity set which belongs to the service document. Entity types are further defined by properties. Uh, some of the properties are the key properties of the entity which can uniquely define the entity. Again, going back at the uh, meta model, or rather than metadata, uh, let's look at uh, the entity type product. Uh, um, so the entity type is product, the entity will be the product, and the entity set will be the uh, collection of products. Um, and it will be defined by various properties uh, like ID, name, description, release date, rate, ratings, price, etc. Uh, and one of one or more uh, set of uh, properties uh, uh, defines the key. In this case, it is the ID. Each property will have uh, a type defined to it. Uh, like here, we see type EDM int 32, EDM string, descriptions again string, uh, release date is date and time, for example. Uh, the type can be simple or complex. Um, so if I look at the example once more, um, we can see uh, these uh, types by which the properties are de defined are mostly simple properties. Uh, let me look at something which is more complex. Uh, so one of the um, property uh, which is address for the supplier is uh, the type of which is defined as odata demo dot address and uh, address is a complex property uh, uh, which is nothing but a structure which has various other properties uh, but there, there'll be no existence of the uh, address property uh, without an association to the uh, entity type when the association, uh, it's a named relationship between the two entities. Uh, every association includes two uh, ends to it, uh, and specific and and the two ends uh, are are the entity types which are related with the cardinality uh, on either sides. Um, 